guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I have my mascara routine and just what I do to make my lashes look like this. I actually really, really love my eyelashes, but I just prefer to use uh, falsies because, I don't know, I just like the look a little bit more. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know how I get my lashes to look like this, then just keep on watching. For amazing lashes, you're going to need a mascara, which I'm going to talk about this, this in a little bit. Um, an eyelash curler and then a toothpick and I've noticed that a toothpick really makes a difference as to like how my lashes look I'm able to separate them um, Like separate my lashes after they're like dry and that makes such a difference on my eyelashes so The first step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and I'm gonna la um, curl my lashes all the way from the root of my eyelashes and I'm just going to give a few like squeezes here and I love this eyelash curler. This is um, from Sephora and I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye. Sometimes you can actually heat it up with a little like lighter. A lot of people do that um, and then they curl their lashes. I actually have an eyelash curler that I need to buy batteries for. Um, but it's like a heated eyelash curler and um, I remember buying it years ago because uh, Christy um, Better I think her last name is she used to make like makeup videos, but now she's more like a fitness and vlog style videos um, But yeah, she recommended and that was like her holy girl I think she still uses that like eyelash curler and um, I remember I bought it and it was like super amazing um, so yeah, I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to check it out. It's an amazing eyelash curler. For today's mascara, I am picking the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And I picked this one up at Ulta. I believe it was $4.99, around that price. I'm going to link it down below. It is the best drugstore mascara I've found. I know that I've raved about my L'Oreal Sensational... No, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is all, uh, also one of my favorites. But um, comparing that one to this one, I really, really love this one a little bit more. Um, it just gives me a lot of volume and um, a lot of length as well. So it's definitely an amazing mascara. And for the price, I mean, you can't really beat $4.99 for a drugstore mascara. From the mascara too, obviously sometimes the actual like wand has a lot of um, like excess so I'm gonna just clean it up a bit because I don't want to use a lot of mascara at first I'm just using it um, at the roots of my lashes and as you can see the mascara is or the mascara the wand is really really nice and it goes from like smaller to a little bit more thick um, um, at the end so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my mascara on the roots of my lashes and I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit and then up wiggle up wiggle up and this is gonna help my root of my lashes look really really dark and then as I start seeing that my lashes start getting a little bit clumpier uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my toothpick and I'm gonna start separating them while the mascara is still wet. That gives me a little bit more room for me to like separate them while it's still wet. And then I do it at the end when they're already dried um, because it also helps when they're dried. So right now I'm gonna take a toothpick and looking straight on my mirror, obviously being very, very careful, um, I'm gonna start separating the lashes from the root. As you can see, obviously the difference between the eye doesn't have any mascara and this one, obviously the length is there and then the volume is going to increase as uh, we put on more mascara. I'm going to take the mascara and then clean it a bit. I just don't like having a lot of mascara on my wand because, I mean, if I have a little bit of mascara, uh, of mascara on the wand and you can see the mess that I'm already making, I want to take my time and make sure that there's not a lot of product on the wand. I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to, doing on the roots, wiggle it up, roots and then wiggle it up. At this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, top part of the wand right here and I'm going to use that to start putting uh, a little bit more product uh, at the end of my 
lashes. And then taking that toothpick again and separating them. As you can see I have a mess on my eye. Um, what you don't want to do is right now while it's wet go ahead and try to clean it because you're going to make a more mess on your eyelid. So I just usually wait until I'm done with my um, like mascara and then I go in and like clean it either with a q-tip or uh, just the back of a clean spoolie and then um, just try to like brush it away so as you can see the difference between the mascara the no mascara side and the mascara um, side I did about three three to four coats of mascara and you can definitely see the difference um, and how the toothpick method that I use actually really, really works with separating your lashes. And the mascara gives you so much volume and length that I really, really do see like a complete difference on my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. This is how my lashes look with about four coats of mascara and uh, my lower lash line. Now what you can do is you can also add some black liner up on your um, top waterline and that can give you more of a fuller um, like lash line. Uh, but I actually don't like doing that because my eyes get watery because of my allergies and then the like black liner transfers to my waterline and then... Yeah, so I don't do that. Um, you can also add a cream color to your waterline. I've done that before just to like open your eyes a bit, but I actually can't find my cream liners. Now that our eyelashes are completely dried, and I'm going to go ahead and curl them again, uh, just so that we have more of a curl now that we have the mascara. So I'm just going to take my eyelash curler and make sure that we get all the way to our root and that also like you put in all of your lashes inside the eyelash curler and then from there I'm just going to take my um, toothpick and I'm going to go in and because our lashes are dry I'm just going to go ahead and separate a little bit more So that is it for my mascara routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!